Today we're going to do arts and crafts. And what we do, what we have is um, we have beads, sequins, and strings. And our, our goal at this arts and crafts project is to make as many as many beads and string combinations as we can having eight beads eight beads in a row with one string going through them. So we we want to build this this thing eight beads one string going through it all day long as many as we can build. Now the rule is for each bead you want to make sure that it has four things around it. Uh, either a string or a sequin. Okay, so we're going to glue sequins onto this, this string of beads in the, the following manner. This guy on the end, it has one string connected to it. So we draw three, we add three, we glue three sequins to this bead. Now this one here has a string on both sides. And since we're trying to get to four items, either, either sequins or strings, in this one we just draw two sequins or glue two three sequins onto this bead. Now these middle six, these guys are all the same. They all have two strings connecting them. So we just draw our two sequins on them. And now the last bead, once again, it's like this bead over here. It has only one string connecting it. And so we draw three sequins on it. Now we want to give this thing a name. Uh, an English name and the name we're going to call it is Octane and so this this word is broken into two parts the first part oct comes from the word or is similar to the word octopus which an octopus having eight tentacles this string having eight beads so this is where we get the oct in the name now we also know that if you have a string of beads with two strings going through them, two strings, then we call it octene. So octene means two strings in it. So we, at this factory, we do not want to build octenes. All we want to do is build octanes. So we know that what we're building is a string of beads that have, uh, have eight beads in a row and connected with one string. Now, we want to also know how to describe this thing in a lower level. Like how many beads and sequins do we need to buy at the factory to build this molecule, this octane molecule? Well, the first thing we know is that there are eight beads in the chain. We know that because we're working with eight. Now, we don't know how many sequins are in this are in this this string, these beads. So let's figure out how many there are. Well, on the inner, on the inner six beads, we've got two sequins. So that's two times six, or twelve. On these outer beads, we have three sequins each. Three times two equals six, and the total of eighteen. So there are six inner beads, two sequins on each inner bead two outer beads, three sequins on each outer bead, it's 12 plus 6 equals 18. Now, we put that here as a subscript, also as a subscript, to indicate that this, we'll call it a molecule, this string of beads, called a molecule, has 8 Bs and 18, uh, 18 Ss. Now, let's go one more step in, in this, num this naming convention, and let's build an identical an identical molecule to the one above to our other octane so we're building another octane absolutely identical no difference so do we go and redraw another B8 S18 or what's what's the method to describe two octanes well the answer is you just put a two in front of your molecular formula. This is the formula for a string of eight beads, B8, S18. And then when you have more than one string, you just put a two there. So if we had a hundred strings, we just put a hundred. So this is how many, and this is what the 
what the string of beads is made of. Now what I want to do is introduce chemistry into the discussion and say that we really are working with carbon in, instead of the beads and hydrogen instead of the S's. Now carbon being the elements that humans and life are made of were carbon-based life forms in nature wants to hang around four different atoms that it's every atom in the periodic table wants a different number of atoms to associate with and carbon likes to associate with four so we can we can take the definition of octane and rename it c8 because we know that every bead is now called a c carbon and hydrogen is the most plentiful element in the world it's found in water it's it's the small it's got a atomic number of one, so it's the tiniest atom you can find, and it only wants to associate with an atom one at a time. So each sequin is drawn, there's only one sequin drawn, and so hydrogen replaces sequins one to one, and we have H18. So this is the molecular formula of octane. Now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a very close cousin of octane called heptane. And heptane means seven instead of eight. So what we've got to do is lop one of these off. And now we have a chain, a string of beads with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's go and figure out its molecular formula also. We've got two at the end. Two beads times three equal to six. We've got five inner beads with two sequins on them, and that total 16. So we know that heptane is C7H16. This is what it looks like. This is molecular formula. This is its name. Remember, anything ane has one string through it. So why are we talking about octane and heptane in, in these lectures? Well, like I said, we're not really in crafts and arts and crafts, we're in chemistry. And these are hydrocarbons. The word I've been talking about throughout these talks, hydrogen, hydrocarbon, that's what, that's, what we're, that's what all these things that we burn to generate energy or heat to power things are all based on, these different lengths of molecules. Now these, these guys are liquid hydrocarbons. The thing we're going to do is we're going to learn that when we take when we take octane and we want to put it in a gasoline engine we give this a rating of 100 this is a very good gasoline if you had gasoline all rated 100 your car would run very smoothly now heptane which has just got one different number of carbons we're going to give it an octane rating of zero so you change one atom and your rating in your engine goes from 100 to 0. So it's a combination of these two molecules in different ratios that gives you different uh, our, um, octane ratings. So when you go get a 92 octane in your car, you're getting 92% octane and 8% heptane. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly those um, molecules, but it is represented by that equivalent, um, the equivalent of these molecules. So cars with higher performance put higher octane rating in them to prevent knocking which is pre-detonation which is where the the fire go, or the, the ignite, ignition goes off before the piston gets to the right spot and it actually fights against the engine so these these are the backbone of, of gasoline engines and before we wrap up I'll just show you octane here it is and the black ones are the carbons with four things around them, and the hydrogens are the white ones, and they've got they connect one to one with the carbon. So this is the most valuable molecule on the planet, and we are burning 1.7 billion gallons of it every day. That's it, chemistry and gasoline.